Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for huh, the Joplin Collectors Expo? All right, we love our conventions, our expos, anything that has to do with uh, collecting. Yes. We're collectors. And toys, <laughs> comics, creators, toys, sports cards, and memorabilia. And also, if you take a look at this thing, they had all kinds of guests, which was very cool because this was actually the second year for this event. Our fellow YouTuber and buddy Bat Fan, he first of all, he does a great video that showcases like kind of a whole floor tour. So, if you want to get a feeling for the whole thing, go check his video out stick around for his pickups he might have got something pretty nifty in there but he said that he went the first year and this year it had doubled in size yeah. and that's what we like to hear yes with we do. any of the expos yeah. not to mention it's fairly close it's about what an hour hour and a half drive for yeah us. so so we love things like that that's pretty nice <laughs> uh, it beats those uh, day trips for yes. sure as soon as you walked inside and got your bracelet for your ticket and everything, there was actually a raffle. Then they had a whole table of prizes you could win. And you got to choose your prizes. You did. And would you believe it? <laughs> this was no Branson Con table. Oh, seriously? <laughs> because uh -huh. she was a winner. I won something. Here's my prize. I won a raffle prize. And so I went over and it was, it was kind of a hard choice. There was a lot of good stuff, but I ended up going for this dice roller right here. This is pretty cool. And I went for twofold, because one, I do like dice rollers. They're a lot of fun in board games. But the other reason I went for it was I really liked the whole setup and motif of it, because I feel like I could easily put the miniatures that I'm starting to collect yeah. and paint. I haven't painted them yet, but they would look kind of really cool in here. And it did come with a full set of dice. Which is nice. Talk about is, a bonus. Yes. And the other cool thing that you had pointed out that you liked was the way it the dice go in there with the branches yeah so the branches it's a full piece that goes all the way through but that really helps that the tree it's not just like a hollow tube that goes all the way straight down the branches they create like a little bit of a barrier that knock those dice around get some good movement to really randomize that roll the other nice thing that i really like about this is this whole thing is 100 percent handmade this tree was not purchased they created the tree they created everything on it but the floor it looks like rough dirt and it is rough but it's hard as a brick but that's another thing once the dice come out here they're going to hit all these weird little bumps and grooves mm -hmm. and roll the die even more it's just it's really cool i really really liked this that was a cool piece wasn't it, it was congratulations on your win and a thanks. very nice selection of prize thanks Now, throughout some of our own floor tour footage, be on the lookout for some great cosplayers mm -hmm. because they had a local group on hand. One of our favorites happens to be Old Luke, and I have to say, I'm really digging these these cards. I, I love know. the like trading like card the little aspect. trading card thing. Yeah, that is so much fun. It's one of those things that it's always fun because then you get to know who your cosplayers are. They actually did have a cosplay contest. I don't think that we were around when they actually held the contest. We did see them uh, doing the pre-judging and everything, but it's really fun whenever the little conventions and expos yes. and stuff like this do something for all the awesome people that come out in their great looking costumes. Yes. Now, clever enough, this was set up in an elementary school, and this worked most of the time. Uh, the hallways, of course, had like a good flow of traffic and everything, and so you got to have little uh, booths set up mm -hmm. with comic books on display, and of course all the toys and crafts and everything that you would expect. But there was one issue with it being in the hallway. They were a little narrow. Yes. So when you wanted to stop and look at a booth, there wasn't a whole lot of room for anyone to get past you all that much just because of the other side of the wall. 
So it, it did make a little bottleneck in places. Right. They did have it in the cafeteria and the gym. So you had like two big areas, one on each end. Yeah. So you followed the hallway of vendors to each room. The only complaint I had was they didn't make it a full circle. Yeah, that was kind of weird. And honestly, though, that's uh, just it's how a the school was built. Thing, yeah, just a little thing. I wonder if you open up his coat, if he's got a bloody tummy. Keeping that in mind, they put this school to good use yeah. because the library had some tables set up for they some did? tabletop yes. gaming, which was very cool. And they even had an area set up for some video games. Mm -hmm. And some retro gaming, too. Yeah. Check out the Hey You Pikachu <laughs> in Nintendo 64. Just a little bit jealous over here. A little bit. Leaving the library is when we happen to run into a bad fan and soon to be Mrs. Mrs. Bad, bad fan. fan. <laughs> and I'm not going to spoil it here, but they had a pretty cool pickup. Yep, and you'll have to go already. watch their video to yeah. see what their pickup and was. And you know, they could have put that in the DK barrel. It, it would have fit. Of course, they try to... Hi, Jacket. Really cool. Right, That's pretty comfortable, too. Just like the I found this really cute 3D printed octopus and I've I've seen these a couple places and I decided to go ahead and pop on it and I just love it because I mean his little liggies just move and it fascinates me because it's 3D printed in the links and that's not like they came apart and put the links together so it fascinates me what a 3D printer can actually do but he's just just this cute little octopus. There were a lot of cool toys at some of these booths in the hallways mm -hmm. as well. I was first drawn to a booth that had some Pirates of Dark Water toys and Skeleton Warriors, stuff that you don't see that often, and this stuff was still on card. And then I realized, of course it is, because it's coming from the collection of Watching Ellis, a local YouTuber. He had a present for us. He did have a present for us. He was super glad that we ran into each other there because he saw this when he was out doing his pickups and just thought of us and just knew it would go to a good home. That was so sweet of him. And, I mean, we love anything Mario, mm -hmm. Nintendo, video game branded anyway. But let's face it, you and I come from a generation growing up when this was the cool stuff that to have. That was how you showed how cool you were in school was the different kind of pencil and folders and eraser set you had and your pencil holder and all that other stuff. I love that this has all of that stuff. It 11 does. pieces. I mean, yeah. It's got geez. your pencil sharpener. It's got your pencil holder, notebook, pencils, little spiral notebook, folder, everything. Now you're schooling with power. <laughs> Superpower. As we continue down the hallway, we were stopped because uh, something caught your eye. And we have to get me one of those. First it of all, did. so let's jump right into that. What? <laughs> Check it out. Why? I think you got that from far in the future. I might have the in year the past. 2015 to be exact. <laughs> now it's a very hard it plastic. It is a very, it's very, almost molded. very, very hard plastic. But I have wanted one of these ever since I saw the movie when I was a kid because I was like, that hat looks so much fun. And then they started making them, but I've never been able to find one for a price that I'm cool with. And this time I did. And so I was like, you know what? I'm getting this. This is mine. I don't know, Griff. I mean, if someone saw us, we just don't want to get caught. We picked this up from Jared Vaughn of Time Honored Productions, an author and a publisher, and, I might add, uh, pretty good at his Marty McFly. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. This time he was cosplaying as <laughs> Gomez Adams. But normally he says a lot of cosplaying as Marty McFly, and he had quite a bit of different kinds of uh, memorabilia for sale. Oh, this is heavy. Right across from Jared was a uh, little booth set up with pretty much something for everyone there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lots of toys. Oh, yeah, for lots starters. of toys. Actually, some clothes, some vintage clothing. <laughs> Look at his hand. Electro 
I hit the jackpot. Yeah, you did. I didn't even get all of them. Look at this. Normally, she gets excited when I've spent the day out thrifting and I find like one, maybe yeah. two Goosebumps books. These were a buck a piece, but I knew that there was more convention to go through, so I didn't want to go too crazy. How long's it been? I got a bunch of some of the first runs. So this one was kind of neat. This is another one of those choose your own adventure books. So I had to pick up that one. But then the majority of the ones I got are low numbers. And these were the ones that I had. So we've got Monster Blood, Curse of the Mummy's Tomb, Welcome to Camp Nightmare, The Ghost Next Door, Be Careful What You Wish For, Ghost Beach, The Spooky Story, Vampire Breath, and Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. I was super excited about this. Goosebumps. <laughs> They had just a couple of video games on hand. The prices were pretty good, and I went for Kid Cool on NES. I remember seeing this all the time. Uh, first of all, look at how cool this kid is. <laughs> I couldn't resist an NES game that I didn't already have for $5. The hallway took us around to the gymnasium and that's where a lot of stuff was set up. A lot of art and prints were on hand here mm -hmm. and there was some really cool there looking stuff there. Ones. There were a lot of crafty things on hand. Pew, pew. Okay, what's up? The wood burns. Oh my stuff gosh, those are really, really cool. cool. There's some really neat stuff there. Everywhere you looked in here, it seemed like there were so, so many toys. Some good vintage stuff that just harkens back to our childhood. Yeah. So, I got myself a tricorder from the 80s, and it is a science officer tricorder. It does come with the... <laughs> now, this is the Give it to me straight, Doc. You've got crabs. This is the old school kind that does make lights and sound. The only thing is, is the battery compartment is a little corroded. So we're going to put it in the medical bay and see if we can't get it up and running again and, and see if it's alive. She had her own trepidations about picking up a certain toy and she kept going back and forth looking at it and thinking mm -hmm. ah maybe i want this maybe i don't the price seems right but i don't know if i really like the characters finally i took it from her hands and i said you hey. tricked me actually i said hey let me take a look at that i grabbed it and i went over to the guy and i'm buying this yep you said you wanted them so you got them Yay! so you got me a really cool uh two for pack with dark phoenix and cyclops and the reason that i was kind of iffy on it was their faces are kind of weird. Now, it looks like you have a card right here because back then they put cards in everything. You bought a comic book, you get a card. You bought a pack of gum, you get a card. You buy some toys, you get a card. You buy some cards, they put some more cards in there. This was the kind of toys when they would put out a little bit of vinyl clothing on them. Her uh, vinyl on her are her leggings right here. And his vinyl is his jacket. His visor comes up and it looks like from the top of his head there's a area for light to shine in so that you can get that glowing visor look pretty cool and they're pretty i mean they're just you know some good generic toys they don't have a whole lot of movement to them they're uh looks like her knees move and her elbows move and then her shoulder joints move 
And as for him, he's got basically the same amount of movement, but all that matters is he can get into that stance and shout, Gene! Zark. What? I'm right here. Oh, hey, Gene. Hey. Let, let me see your real eyes. <laughs> oh my god! There was a booth of toys here that I was really, really tempted on some of the stuff. Uh, I saw some Final Fantasy toys that I kind of wanted, but I was really kind of gauging if I had enough of that fandom to really merit buying the toys. There was a pretty cool Dragon Quest piece there that I was very close to get, but I didn't like the price on. The point is, this place really did have something for everyone. It because did, yeah. if you weren't into the standard action figure line or anything like that, there were the more collectible statue toys. He even had some movie posters. He also had some Transformers. And there were a lot of little kids digging through the Transformer box. They were <laughs> excited to see that. And then we went to the cafeteria area and there were some more tables with some more deals yes. here. As soon as you came into the room, they had some face painting going on right there. So we're actually going to finish this one up because this one's pretty good. You can see some of the veins and stuff like that. It's kind of spread out because that um, skin has been kind of messed with. So we're going to add a little bit of blood and blood is totally okay to add. And next to that station was a fantastic artist. He was just doodling away and I was really liking the mm -hmm. work that I saw. Moving on, there were toys. There was. It was just a table piled of <laughs> Marvel Legends action figures and Marvel Select figures. And I mean, you basically just had to dig through them. So I managed to come up with two of them that I really, really liked. One was a rather large uh, Marvel Select Holy Deadpool. Cow, he came with two sides, a rather large semi-automatic rifle. And then his, of course, his iconic swords. And then he comes with two pistols. The pistols do come out, but his knife up here and the knife on his ankle does not come out. Oh, they're teasing I you. know. Oh, teasers. And of course, it's Deadpool, so he has all the pouches. He also has a ton of movement going on, so this is one of those figures that is going to be super fun to pose. The neat thing is his swords do come out on each side. And yeah, he's got articulation everywhere. He's got the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the head, the hips, the knees, the ankles, and you know, rotation in those themselves. So it's, he's a pretty cool figure. And he's actually really heavy too. Also at this table, I found mostly for this gentleman right here, a really cool Marvel Selects yeah. Gambit figure. And this one was really cool. He came with four hands. Because, you know, he's always ready to lend a hand. I was thinking just more of how handsy he can be. Oh, well, that too. And then his exploding cards that he likes to use with his kinetic powers. But this Gambit has got a lot of really cool detail. The vinyl coat, it is stiff, so it can, you know, it's major posed. But if you look really closely, it's got some major leather veining on it. And it's, it's just really highly detailed. Now... He does have in his hands the ability to hold his kinetic cards and he has articulation again at the head, the shoulders, the elbow, the wrist, the hips and the knees and at the ankles. They have the, uh, the waist joint also moves and I believe this boy has abs painted on his abs. He's got abs on abs on abs. Something kind of fun is that we were actually running into some vendors that we have seen at other shows like Rubicon. Mm -hmm. They had a great booth set up with some comics and some cool Masters of the Universe figures and they recognized us and we're like, hey, you know, so it's kind of that uh, convention buddy system mm -hmm. again. 
but we found a booth full of all kinds of toys. I think they had so much stuff that they literally couldn't fit it all on the table. Yeah. And anytime something sold, I think they were pulling it out of the bins. <laughs> What'd you find? Some games. They even had just like paper signs on the outside. Everything in this bin is $10. Everything in this bin is $5. The only problem with that is some stuff was getting a little mixed up. Mm -hmm. And we found a piece that was in a $5 bin. But when we asked about it, they said it was actually 10 Now, the box was a little messed up. And we honestly weren't worried about that because, we let's face it, we're taking it out <laughs> of the box. However, because of the size of this figure, we didn't know if we wanted to go 10 on it just mm -hmm. because of trying to find a space for it. Later on, the guy flagged us down as we were walking the floor and he said, you know what, if you want that Laura statue, I'll do five on it. At $5, it's like, well, let's get it and we'll worry about yeah. finding a place later on. She's $5 spaceable. Well, there she is. Um, she's got some fun twist ties back here, and there's actually screws on the bottom. So it's going to take a little while longer to get her fully out of this, but already you can see her a lot better than in that crushed box. Tomb Raider starring Laura Croft. I mean, who else is Tomb Raider going to star? <laughs> it's a great piece because she's got some ruins with the pillar right there beside her, and she looks great. Even though that box was crushed, nothing happened to her. Mm -hmm. No scuffs, no anything messing up the paint. The pillars are tall and stick up, but somehow they didn't get crushed. The other neat thing about it is she can hold her guns or they can go in her holster, which is also a very neat touch. That's that's nice. So we could swap out her weapons. Maybe she wants to hold uh, Gambit's cards or Deadpool's swords. Okay. <laughs> there seems to be just a little bit of movement on the glasses. I don't think they're supposed to come off, but maybe if you wanted to push them up over her eyes a little more, you could but then you wouldn't have that trademark looking over the top of my glasses, Laura Croft stare. <laughs> Seriously, how did she never get snakes up those short shorts? <laughs> Ooh, that is a big piece to try to find a place for. Maybe we should collect something a little smaller. I found some little smaller items actually. And does everybody remember gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere? We are the gummy bears. Sorry for any dogs that are howling at the moment. But I picked up a little set of the gummy bears. I loved this cartoon when I was a kid. I don't know if I love the cartoon or the song more. <laughs> and I loved eating gummy bears, so the show was just perfect. <laughs> don't eat these gummy bears. Don't eat bears. these gummy bears. But yeah, I don't honestly know if I've got the full set or not, but it's a fairly decent set. And I was pleased with it, so I think they're super cute. I just have to say, the condition of these characters is really good. These are the types of toys that you would often see getting scuffed up very easily and losing some of the paint yeah. and the detail. Uh, maybe like their noses being rubbed away into nothingness. There's barely any paint missing on any of them, so they are in great shape. Well, about this time, I was getting pretty hungry, and thankfully, I found something at the same booth I found the gummy bears at that is food related. Would you like a Big Mac or French fries <laughs> or a quarter pounder or some chicken nuggets? Oh, the McDonald's Transformers. You know, a lot of people have been talking about these lately. I know that I've had a couple of these somewhere buried in the toys, and I can assure you they are not as in nice condition as these are. And the french fries are pretty worse for wear, but he had two different french fries. They're, well, they're the same french fries. This one was the least rubbed off in the paint. The burgers are actually in very good shape. The McNuggets are a little, a little iffy. But the funny thing is I remember loving these as a kid, but as an adult, I look at them and I'm like, wow, that's all they do. They barely do anything. These are almost like GoBots where it's like they barely morph into anything else. Now this is definitely not the whole set and I have been on the lookout for these so I was so excited to find this many in one spot. I will definitely keep an eye out for the rest of them. Gotta complete that collection. I do. B 
beyond all of the fun stuff that we were picking up, there really was a lot going on at there this was. expo. There were tables set up, and I don't know if anybody could or if it was just the people that had come already pre prepared for it, but they had a, uh, a little bit of battle bot action. They did. Going it was kind of fun. I've never seen one of those in person. I've only ever seen it on TV, and it was exciting. Two, one, fight. Now he's getting that weapon spinning up, going for Kamalama's front armor. Kamalama just up that way. Trying to lose the effectiveness of the spinner. And one of the tips that we keep giving you guys is whenever you go to a convention or an event, a mm -hmm. festival, anything, be on the lookout for information for upcoming events. Yep. These are the best places to find that information because there's generally someone on hand trying to let you know, hey, watch for this next one. As you saw, we had a lot of fun looking at all of the stuff on hand there and of course bringing some of that stuff home oh, to yeah. add to the collection and it was fun to run into some friends whether they were running tables or just checking out the halls themselves we look forward to checking this event out more and more the joplin collectors expo i hope that it keeps growing i hope they keep it up because again quick drive for us yep. a lot of stuff to see and a great way to spend the day and it's a great way to stay in shape Nerdlings, if you happen to have any comments about any of the fun toys and books and games and finds that we had today, please leave those comments down below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I think she's a little big for that. <laughs> I don't think these guys care. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to know where we're going next. And go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there, Nerdlings. And uh, if we like it... We nerd it. I think we got a fight breaking out here. Oh my gosh. Easy, guys. Easy, easy. Take it easy. Just calm down. Okay? I wonder if he's better. <laughs> oh, well. Well, here, you might as well put them in a graveyard. They're dead. Look at them. They're dead. Blech. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I can't die. I always heal and come back. Are you hungry, Deadpool? I got some french fries for you. I always come back too. I could be a clone or someone else oh. or from the future. Oh, I like her in the tree. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Yeah. Let me let me make sure everybody's you know. Oh jeez. Oh, hey Lorraine. This is this is this some is good, good stuff. stuff. This is this is real good stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, hey. I'm your density. I mean destiny. Thank you.